This is an introduction to Light Touch, a light tweaking tool for 3ds Max. Let's enable the tool. We can also use a keyboard shortcut. In this case, using the Control, Alt and Shift keys in different combinations, enable different modes of the tool. Pressing and holding the Control key enters the Select mode. We can use this to select the light that has the least angle to the surface normal and this means that we can uh, find out which light illuminates that surface the most. If we click with the left mouse button the corresponding light will be selected and we can add to the selection or hold the Alt key and remove from the selection. There is also a special mode that allows only single light to be selected so if we select one light and then try to select another one, the previous one will be deselected. And yet another uh, mode where um, already selected lights will not be tested. So in this case, the already selected light will be skipped. We can select another one and then automatically the tool moves to the next unselected one. Which is probably the easiest selection mode for selecting a single light. Once a light is selected, we can hold the shift key and change its distance to the target. We can also press Control A, which will select all the lights since the light touch tool uh, sets the selection filter to lights only. And in this case, we can hold the shift key and move all the lights relative to their targets. We can also hold the shift and out keys and change the multipliers of all selected lights which boosts the lighting in the scene or we can select a single light and then holding shift and out will change only that light's intensity. Using the control and the shift buttons will enable the place target mode. In this case we are aiming the target of the light at the corresponding geometry in the scene. This also works with the working pivot of 3ds Max. If we enable the working pivot, and use the control and the shift keys, the target will be placed, but the light will pivot around the working pivot. This is very useful, for example, if you have a window at the wall and you want to have a light outside illuminating an object inside and always passing through that point in space, you can place the working pivot at that point and then target the light to pass through that location in space. Using the control, out and shift keys enables the place highlight mode. Let's move the light closer to the surface by holding the shift key and then holding the control out and shift places the highlight on the surface. Releasing the shift key enables the diffuse mode. In this case, the light is aligned to the surface normal exactly and doesn't take into account the surface normal, the light direction and the viewing direction. If I hold the shift key again, then the light is oriented to the surface in uh, such a manner that the light bouncing off the surface hits the camera uh, and creates the specular highlight at that point. There is a move mode which has actually three different modes. The diffuse placement mode holding the control and out as we saw, places the light along the surface normal. The surface shift mode allows us to specify, for example, if we set the target on a certain angle and then hold the control and out, the light will be moving relative to the surface of whatever object we pick and always preserve the target distance and the direction. 
And the third mode is the so-called trackball mode. In this mode, the light will orbit around the point that we are picking if we hold the control and out buttons and move the mouse horizontally the light will orbit around the point and if we move the mouse up and down the light will move rise and set in the vertical uh, plane and moving the mouse around in X and Y will uh, orbit in the whole uh, sphere with center the point that we picked on the surface of the object. Obviously we can do this with all the lights at once. And in the options dialog which also provides hints about what keys uh, enable which mode, we can switch to only X orbiting, moving the mouse along the X, we will rotate about the surface normal that we have picked, or if we pick this point, it will, they will rotate about the vertical Z-axis. And we can also enable the Y only mode, in this case the lights will go up and down in the plane defined by the normal and the target direction of the light but moving the mouse horizontally doesn't change anything these are the major features of light touch there are some more options but um, this should be enough for a short overview